All right, here we go, my math minions. Lesson 2.3 and 2.4. We've already done dividing a fraction by a whole number. That was lesson one. Lesson two was dividing a whole number by a fraction. So we've already got that key in our mind. We remember the key. What's the key? Can't hear you. Finally, okay, yes, keep change flip. We need to pay attention to keep change flip. And that doesn't change. This one, what we're doing today is dividing fractions by fractions, okay? And it's the same thing as far as the key is concerned. We're still doing a keep change flip. So I'm gonna draw up here our key like I always do. A key with only two teeth today. There we go. Here's our key. Is keep, change, flip. All right, so we're going to look at a few examples. Now, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this and here's why. One is the basic, simple, I'm still working on multiplication, okay? And then the other one is, all right, I know my multiplication facts, so I can skip a few steps and simplify quickly, all right? And that's the skill that we're, for this lesson, it's cross multiplying. And you may remember in fifth grade, you learned how to cross multiply. You may even learned a little bit in fourth grade, okay? so. The first thing we're gonna do is, I have eight ninths divided by two ninths. And don't worry about all this stuff that says write the expression in unit form and then draw a model to solve, okay? That's not the important part of this lesson, so I'm not gonna worry about that. What's important is you remember that you have to put KCF above or below, just every problem has to have it. Now we keep the eight ninths We change, divide to multiply, and then we flip, and this becomes nine halves. Now here's where I'm going to show you part one. The first way to do it is just to multiply straight across. Nine times eight is 72, and nine times two is 18, okay? And then we have an improper fraction, so we need to simplify. So we can do 72 divided by 18, but my brain is like, what? I, I don't know my 18 multiplication facts. Are you crazy, Miss Cecil? You said do 10. Well, here's the good thing. Both of these can be divided by nine. That's within the 10 that I said you had to have memorized. So 72 divided by nine, is eight and 18 divided by nine is two. And now you can do that one in your head. Eight divided by two is four. So that's our answer. Now, the other way to do this, I'm gonna change colors, is we have eight ninths times nine halves. And now look at this nines are diagonal from each other. So I can just say, okay, nine divided by nine is one and nine divided by nine is one. I cross canceled those. I can also do it here because two divided by two is one and eight divided by two, because we have to do the same number is four. So now I've got four over one times 
one over one. Well, that's the same thing as four times one, which is four, okay? So if cross canceling, your brain goes, I have no idea what you just did. Don't worry about it. If this makes sense, how to do this one, then do it this way. You'll still get the right answer. It just takes you like one step more. It's not a big deal, okay? So let's move on. Example two says, nine twelfths divided by three twelfths. Keep, change, flip. So nine twelfths, we keep. Change becomes multiply and then flip. 12 thirds. Multiply straight across, we get 108 and 36. And again, I don't know my 36 times tables. So I'm going to say, well, both of them can be divided by, well, 12, I know, because I just did 12 over there. 12 and 12, that gives me 9 thirds. I can do that one in my head, right? So that becomes three because nine divided by three is three. And I don't know if you've noticed this pattern yet, okay? But if we cross canceled those, my answer is nine thirds, right? Nine and three, because we got rid of those 12s by dividing by 12. So if you see that pattern, you can just start with nine thirds. You're like, oh, get rid of that. Now we go to nine thirds and that's three. Okay. Again, if your brain goes, what? Don't freak out. Don't panic. Do what makes sense. And eventually you're going to see the pattern and your brain will then grab a hold of it. All right. Don't, don't panic. Everybody's brains process things at different speeds. So Remember, your brain's not done until you're like 25, 26. Don't worry about it. All right, example three. We've got seven ninths divided by three ninths. Oh my goodness, let's make that a little smaller, please. Goodness, that's like a big giant highlighter. All right, seven ninths, because we, I forgot, keep change, flip. Always do that. Seven ninths, change that to times, and then flip it. Nine thirds. Now, remember, I've got that pattern. I could get rid of that. I think we're going to see seven thirds as our answer, but let's try it out. Seven times nine. Come on. Yes, yeah, 63. Nine times three is 27. I don't know my 27s, but I do know that if I divide this by 9, I get 7. And if I divide this by 9, I get 3. Oh, see, my prediction came through. 7 thirds. Well, 3 goes into 7. 2 times with 1 left over. So that's 1 third. And there's our answer. All right. Now, we've got just a couple more. We've got Molly has one and three eighths cup of strawberries and she needs three eighths of a cup of strawberries to make one batch of muffins. How many batches can she make? Well, let's figure this out, shall we? Let's look at, she has one and three eighths and she needs to divide what she has into Three eighths of a cup for each batch. So we keep, change, flip. We're going to keep the one and three eighths. Change this, flip this. Uh oh, I missed a step. I know, you're like, wait, what? Yes, Miss Sissel forgot to tell you. Before we KCF, 
we have to change things. We have to make this an improper fraction. Then we KCF. Eight times one is eight. Plus three is 11. So we have 11 eighths. And now it's divided by three eighths. Now we keep change flip. And we go 11 eighths. We keep change to multiply. Flip eight over three. My prediction is I'm going to have 11 thirds because I've got those two eights diagonally. So I've got 88. Eight times three is 24. If I divide this by eight and divide this by eight, I get 11 thirds. Ooh, my prediction was right. And then three goes into 11 three times, that's nine. So that leaves two left over for our numerator. And she can make three and two thirds batches. Coming into the home stretch here. Here we go. All right. Molly's friend Xavier also has 11 eighths of a cup of strawberries, and he needs three fourths of a cup to make his batch of tarts. All right. They're saving us a step. They already put it in the improper fraction. Yay. Thank you. 11 eighths divided by three fourths of a cup for each batch. Keep, change, blip. Keep. 11 eighths, change that to multiply, and then flip that to four thirds. Oh, I don't have the same number. So I'm not gonna end up with 11 thirds this time. That's for sure. I do know if I wanna cross cancel, I can divide four by four and get one, and eight by four and get two, so that'd be like 11 times one and two times three, 11, six. Let's see if that's what we get. 11 times four is 44. Eight times three is 24. I know my GCFs. I know my multiplication facts. And I know that both of these can be divided by four. 44 divided by four is 11. 24 divided by four is six. Ooh, Miss Cicely is good. Six goes into 11 one time. And that leaves us five still as our numerator, five, six. So he can only make one in five, six batches, not quite two. All right, we've got two more examples left. Very quickly, then I got to end this and get class started. So here we go. The quotient, which is just, the math word for what's the answer to a division problem. All right, we've got six eighths divided by two eighths. Keep change flip. So we've got six eighths times eight halves. Six times eight is 48. 8 times 2 is 16. I can divide this by 8 and get 6. This one by 8 and get 2. Remember, whatever you divide one by, you have to divide them both by the same number. So now I have 6 halves. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Ta-da! Ready to do the last one? Let's do it fast. 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds. Keep change flip means that we have three fourths that we keep we change this to times and we flip this and we get three halves okay well there's nothing i can cross out so i guess i just go three times three is nine two times four is eight i can do that one one and one eight and we're done Okay, so now you have a uh, math practice. It's called 2.2 and 2.3 math practice. Go ahead and, and work on that. And let's have a great day. Bye-bye.